Troll view starts in five, four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome to Tribal Review. Stuco's Freezing for a Reason is just around the corner. We'll have more details coming up on the show. Also on the broadcast, we'll find out more about the state champion cheerleader team. All this and more coming up on Tribal Review. Hey Fort Osage High School, I'm Michael Reddick. December starts tomorrow and it is National Tie Month. Wear your favorite tie or a different tie every day in celebration of this National Month. And I'm Michelle Crook. Today is Thursday, November 30th, 2017 and here are your top school news stories. Stuco is busy with several projects to end the semester freezing for a reason will take place on December 1st from 5.30 to 7.30 during the boys' varsity basketball game. Student Council will be collecting gently used winter clothing items outside of the varsity gym doors during the JV basketball game. <coughs> Things such as sweaters, winter coats, blankets, socks, scarves, hats, and other warm clothing can be donated. Come out and support your Indians and your community. Stuco is partnering with Children's Mercy Hospital to supply teddy bear toss for the kids undergoing medical treatments. To do this, they are planning a teddy bear toss on Thursday, December 14th during the girls' basketball home game. The toss would take place during the halftime and students will be trying to land their bears on the designated areas of the court for various prizes. Please bring your new bears either in packaged or still with tags attached prior to the game to donate to Children's Mercy Hospital. Coming up next, we'll meet members of the Cheer State Championship team. We'll be right back after these messages. Big Frog Custom T-shirts and more is the perfect place to celebrate your style. Visit the store to choose from thousands of designs to get digitally printed on shirts, hoodies, jerseys, and more. You can get apparel for your friends, family, clubs, and businesses. There are no setup or design fees and no minimums, so you can get as little or as many shirts as you want. Custom print your apparel and more at Big Frog located at 2100 East Jackson Drive, Suite D in Independence. Welcome back. On October... 28, the Indians cheer team made the school history by taking the state championship in the 4A small division. Michelle caught up with three members of the team to find out what it takes to win a championship. The cheerleaders won the first ever state championship in school history and three girls were named to the all-state cheer team, Christina Freeman, Faith Lockhart and Samantha Maggot. Christina felt their hard work paid off in the competition. So we really just practiced every single day. We just made sure that every minute of the practice counted and we just worked hard and made sure that we were perfect with every single thing and we just performed it that day and just made sure that we were encouraging encouraging each other just every second of the routine that we competed. So. The team practices approximately three hours each session. Faith is happy that they made school history. I was happy because we worked so hard for this, so I finally made school history. Out. Sam is in her second year on the varsity cheer squad. She is very pleased with getting her first championship ring. Um, I'm really excited because it's the first ring I've ever won, and we're super excited to get them. There are 26 cheerleaders on the comp cheer team. Reporting for Travel Review, this is Michelle Crook. Indians football. Thanks, Michelle. When we come back, we'll have more school news for you and our weekly weather report. Toscanos is the best place to get an upscale Italian dining experience with a hometown feel. Start out with enjoying delicious warm bread while the cooks prepare your entree to be served to you fresh. Toscanos offers a vast menu of pizzas, pastas, salads, and more. They offer carryout and can cater to any event. 
Let Kirk and John give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscano's, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. Welcome back. 28 high schools and over 1,000 artworks competed for 170 spots at the All Metro Art Show in Merriam, Kansas on November 11th. Here are some of the works that were selected for the show in Merriam, Kansas. Bailey Hall, Mason Dowdy, Maya McCluster, Sip, Josie Elderman, Carly Huffner, Mariah McKenzie, Lewis Perks, Shari Litton, Sam Phillips, and Amber Lee. We will have their artwork showcase all through December. There will be a representat representation December 7th at 7 p.m in the Tim Murphy Gallery in Merriam, Kansas, where you can see their artworks displayed. Scholar Bowl's Trash Trivia Tournament is Thursday, December 7th from 5 to 8 p.m. <coughs> in the Freshman Center. There will be snacks available for sale. Trash Trivia questions are about music, movies, video games, and TV shows, sports, and memes. <coughs> Cost is $20 per team, or four or five dollars per person if you want to play by yourself. Sign up in advance in Mr. Malaki's room 108. Proceeds benefit the team's trip to nationals. Now it is time for today's weather report with Blake Pearson. <coughs> What's the weekend looking like? Looks like the weekend should be warm, Michael. Now here's your weather report brought to you by the MSN Weather app. Today it looks like our high is going to be 56 and our low is going to be 35. And looking at our daily summary, it looks like the uh, peak of our temperature is going to be around 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. at around 55 degrees, 54. Moving on to our satellite. It uh, looks like right now we have a bunch of cloud coverage over the United States. Could cause, you know, overcast uh, some systems that we could see Mo uh, looking at our radar. Like I said, we have this system kind of below us that we could kind of see a little bit with uh, our lower temperatures. Uh, moving in on Kansas City, it could, looks like we could see a little bit, but not too much. Uh, moving on to our five-day forecast. Looks like the rest of the week's going to be uh, upper 50s and lower 60s. Looks like on Sunday we could have some precipitation and could be 67 and 61 for the rest of the week. That's it for today's weather. I'm Blake Pearson. When we come back, we'll have more stories and Indian sports. sports. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time. Choose from a variety of fresh, great tasting foods and custards to be prepared by their friendly staff. Let Culver's welcome you to deliciousness. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. Welcome back. The business department got a new face this year. Ms. Sarah McIntyre joined the staff this fall to take Ms. Fletcher's place. Tristan Berry is taking her classes and tells us about this new teacher. Ms. McIntyre is a new business teacher. She tells us how she likes it at Fort Osage so far. I love it here. I'm really, really glad that I got the opportunity to come here. Um, I think it's a really fun place to teach. I think it's a really fun place to go to school. I love how many activities there are for just every type of person. There's just something for everybody here, and I like that. Ms. McIntyre got her education from University of Central Missouri and the University of Missouri. Jace explains how well she's doing. She is a really good teacher. It, you know, she really seems to care about the students and um, how we do, and she sort of brings her own personal look into things when she explains things. Ms. McIntyre teaches intro to video game design. Bree explains how great she is. Uh, yeah, I mean, she's she's always there whenever you need her and everything, and she's really helpful and she's really like funny and nice and everything like that. Ms. McIntyre has been teaching for two years, reporting for Tribal Review. I'm Tristan Berry. Thanks, Tristan. Zach Erickson joins us now with the Indian Sports Report. Thanks, Michael. I'll have the girls' basketball results coming up after these messages. Come to the 
the tribal perk located in the comments concession stands. Drinks are made fresh and only cost 50 cents to $1.50. Get any flavor from caramel, mocha, and vanilla, and add whipped cream to any drink for free. Come to the tribal perk from 7.05 to 7.30 before school starts every morning. Hey everybody, I'm Zach Erickson with today's sports report. The girls varsity basketball team started the season with a 45-36 win over Pembroke Hill. The Kylie Flowers made her varsity and high school debut by making plays like this that happened that helped her put 17 points, 4 assists, and 5 rebounds in the stat book. She, she was joined by fellow freshman Austin Moyes who played stellar defense and Caitlin Ward who added to the potent Indians offense. The Indians used full court press to shut down the Raiders early in the game by forcing 12 turnovers. The girls varsity team then started play in Winnetonka tournament with a 47 to 39 loss to Smithville on November 27th. Kylie Flowers led the Indians with an 18 points while Elisa Monday had added 12. The team continued play in the tournament with a 62 to 50 win over Grandview. Elisa Monday led the Indians this time with 15 points followed by Flowers 14. Haley Chase also was in double digits with 12 points as the team improved to a 2-1 to a on the season. Both boys basketball and wrestling squad are busy preparing for the start of the starts of their season. Head varsity basketball coach Josh Wilson and his staff are working hard with the team to improve upon last season's 4-18 record. They kick things off at with a home game Friday, December 1st against Liberty. The wrestling squad is tearing it up in the multi-purpose practice facility as it looks to send a new crop of wrestlers to state. Head varsity coach Brandon Wackerman has his team looking to build on last season, season's successful 11-2 and two dual record. The team opens the season in a Grand, Va Grand Valley tournament on December 2nd. KFL Sports will bring you live coverage of the boys varsity basketball game against Liberty on December 1st. Log into nfhsnetwork.com to catch this pay-per-view view event starting at 6.45 p.m. That, that's it for the Indian Sports Report. I'm Zach Erickson. Thanks, Zach. Bring your family and younger siblings to Cookie and Cocoa with Santa on Tuesday, December 5th from 6 to 8 p.m at Claremont Elementary School. Fort Osage District staff and families with ch children 10 years of age and under are invited to attend this free event. Pictures with Santa will be $5 each with additional copies for $1. Other fun activities like Christmas crafts and decorating sugar cookies will be available. This event is sponsored by the Fort Osage Disability Awareness Focus on the Future campaign. Stugo also wants you to encourage school spirit by playing a version of w Where's Waldo. Theirs is called Find the Indian. What Stuco will be doing is hiding a picture of the Indian head logo around the school, and one student can find it and take it to Miss Burnett's room, room 43, during passing time for a prize. Find the Indian will begin this Friday and will be continued until the end of the first semester. Now it's time for this week's Tom Tom Talk with Nick Andretti. He wanted to find out what movies you are most looking forward to over the Christmas break. Now that Thanksgiving is over and Christmas is around the corner, it's a great time to watch some movies. We went out to find out what movies people are most looking forward to for the holidays. Pitch Perfect to be just Tom. Of the new Star Wars movie? Uh, because I like how the Star Wars movies kind of correlate and story have a nice lore to it. Looking forward to Ferdinand the Bull. It's coming out on December 15th and I'm really excited because it's a really good storybook and it's super cute and yeah. I'm most looking forward to Pitch Perfect because Ruby Rose is in it and I think it's cool how these girls are coming back and singing for competition around the world. I think it's my favorite movie will have to be Pitch Perfect 3 because uh, I enjoy watching that with my sister. It was cool. 
The Last Jedi. And what? Because it seems cool. <laughs> I really want to see uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi because I like Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Uh, I'm choosing this because that's the lesser stupid of the other two. Uh, my favorite movie coming up this holiday is The Last Jedi, mainly because I've been a Star Wars fan ever since I was like three, four years old. The movie I'm most looking forward to is Star Wars The Last Jedi. Reporting for Tribal Review, I'm Nicholas Andrade. Thanks, Nick. On this day in history, in 1993, the Brady Bill requiring a five-day waiting period for handgun purchases is signed into law. The ACT word of the day is bore, which means rude person or something that is unrefrained. Well, that's it for this week on Tribal Review. I'm Michael Reddick. And I'm Michelle Crook. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.